so welcome back to the channel everyone triple i'm here today i wanted to take a look at the nvidia shield tv application now i know a lot of people go out and they'll get a bluetooth remote they'll try to upgrade the remote they'll try to do a couple things to, to make the shield experience a lot better but i think a lot of people fail to actually look at the nvidia shield application and see what it has to offer so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to get it how to set it up and how to get it up and running let's go ahead and jump into it so of course if you're new to the channel guys smash the subscribe button in the top right hit the notification bell drop your questions and comments in the comments section below and last but not least best way to support this channel smash your thumbs up and share this video so the nvidia shield tv app is available on ios as well as android so let's go ahead and launch the application for the first time All right, so it's looking for the Shield TV on Wi-Fi. Tells you make sure your Wi-Fi software is updated to the latest version. Shield TV should be on the same Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. So if you have multiple networks like I do, you can go ahead and pair via IP. And I'll show you guys how to do it, but then I'll go ahead and switch it back. So if you use the pair via IP option, it will ask you for the IP address. So let's go to settings. I'm going to go down to network and internet connection. So it is wired in right now. So there's my IP address, 192.168.1.127. I'm gonna hit pair. And you can see it found it right away, found the code for me, and that's one way to pair it. So let me go back. The easier way to do this, guys, is to make sure that your shield is on the same Wi-Fi network. So let me go back again. This time I'm just going to disable the Ethernet and I'm going to go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. So you can see right there it is connected to Mojo 5G. So let's go ahead and make sure I'm on that Wi-Fi network. So I'm looking for Mojo 5G. There it is. Let me just give it a second. All right, I am connected. Found two NVIDIA Shield TV guys. You can see one of them is a 127 IP address. The other one is a 122. Now I do have multiple NVIDIA Shields. However, I know that only one is currently turned on. So both these IP addresses, one is for the Wi-Fi and one is for the ethernet connection. So if you remember the address I just got was the 127. That was when it's wired in. If you're on Wi-Fi, the IP address could have changed guys. So to verify this, we're gonna go back, click on the Wi-Fi network, we're going to click on it again and there's the ip address that is pulling via wi-fi so because i disconnected the ethernet adapter if i click on the 127 it's not going to connect so it's telling you unable to connect to 127 that's because ethernet was turned off so we're going to click on 122 there's the code we're going to put in 803 958 And here we are inside NVIDIA Shield application. So first, let me go ahead and go home. So it starts out with the apps page, guys. And from here, you do have all the applications that's installed on your device. So for instance, if I wanted to launch Plex, I'll just click on Plex. And you can see Plex is now launched. I do have the three Android buttons here in the middle. I have the back button there. I have the home button. So I'll click that, it will go home. And I do have the menu button right there, which is pretty cool. So a couple cool options. Let me go over the top area first. So where it says remote, if you click that, it will go back to apps. You can see the remote function is at the bottom. So the launch remote essentially, just hit that button at the bottom and it will bring up the remote control. So from the remote control guys, you do have a couple options. So where it says D-pad, if you click on the down, you can switch it to swipe. All right, you can see I can kind of navigate with swipe. We'll switch it again. We're gonna go to trackpad. All right, so that actually brings up the mouse, guys. So I really like this controller right here. So right here is the mouse. You can tap on it to launch it. I'm gonna go back. Don't want to start playing content here. Hit the home button. You do have the right click. You do have the left click right there as well, guys. Go back again. And another cool part about this is that you do have an active keyboard. So let me go home. Let me just pull up a web browser. Let's go to um, Puffin. See, I was doing a speed test. So a cool thing about this, you can search. You can use the voice, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit, but you do have an option to hit the keyboard button right here. So if you hit keyboard, Q 
keyboard comes up now I can search for whatever I had a typo there but you get it and it will bring up whatever you search for so let's hit the home button again so that's basically all the remote controls we do have the swipe pad which we uh, essentially started out on we have the trackpad you do have the d-pad as well so let me know which one's your favorite personally i do like the trackpad uh, just because it brings that cursor that mouse on the screen and just makes it easy to navigate in my opinion now within the trackpad guys you do have gestures so you can do two fingers you can scroll up scroll down all right left and right you can pinch zoom if you're on a web page so a lot of great functionality plus the keyboard i believe is a big plus in this instance so the next button over is the microphone button so with this you can use your google search you can use your voice to um, do different things so let's go ahead and give it a try what's the temperature like in oakland california next to that you have your volume control so mute volume down volume up and you do have the option here if you hit the power button it will go ahead and send your shield to sleep let's go ahead and wake it back up so like i said below that you have your back button you need to have your home button you do have your menu button as well as your fast forward pause play and rewind button at the bottom so let's hit the drop down we're going to go from the remote and you can see you have your apps here guys you have your games and you can go ahead and launch stuff you can play movies so this is a great alternative i know a lot of people complain about the the old shield remotes and the new ones are not yet available for sale so this is a great alternative in my opinion uh works well on the shield like i said i love the remote i love the fact that it does have the mouse function that's actually a true mouse where you can go ahead and uh, move around you can double click you can use gestures which i think is um pretty good touch but just wanted to um do a quick video on this a lot of people are asking about shield remotes or compatible remotes with the shield this is a great option if you guys are using this app let me know what you think about it let me know how long you've been using it, and let me know if this will prevent you from buying a additional remote or a second remote for your nvidia shield now for your fire stick users there is a similar application i've done a video on that i'll go ahead and link that in the description that's it for this video guys hit the thumbs up share this video if you think it might help someone else thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one this video is being sponsored by IPVanish. IPVanish is one of the best VPN services in the world. They do have top speeds, they do have a money back guarantee, and they're recommended by some of the top organizations in the world, from CNET, CNN, Lifehacker, as well as PC Mag. Now, if you guys don't know what VPN is, VPN is short for Virtual Private Network. And what a VPN does is essentially encrypts your data, that way no one can see your web traffic. So a lot of people use it for different reasons, to access geolock content. Other people use it to remain anonymous while acquire media maybe for their plex server most people just want to remain anonymous keep the internet service provider out of your business keep them from tracking you and keep them from knowing what you're looking at check the link in the description where i will have a vpn deal that will save you a little bit of money